Hi everybody, welcome to this video looking at some replays from the Ryder Cup course in the game of Golf Clash. These are my first looks and it's difficult to give you precise adjustments because obviously these are new club stats that we're dealing with, so not yet in any wind calculators. But I will of course uh, tell you how many rings I'm adjusted and we can work out things from that potentially later on in the week. Please do join us on Facebook. Link in the video description down below. Search for BK Golf Clash Facebook group. People are already sharing shots from this brand new course in there as well. Before we look at the replays, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to check out the playlist as well for all content relating to this Ryder Cup tournament. Link in the video description down below. In this video we're going to look at hole one which is a par four from the Ryder Cup course. We are from Middle T of course pro and expert division. I'm going to talk you through the replays now of my first looks at these holes and here comes the first shot. We do have nice tailwind here so I'm going to change to a katana because I want a little bit more wind but I do need also three bars of side spin to the right. So I'm going with max top spin which is four and a half bars Three side spin to the right, stretching out there, half of the white ring touching the rough on the left. Adjustment here, I am going to pull just over two rings. And then going to push back up to max. Obviously, can't be uh, working with elevations just yet because it is early days and we don't have the data in the wind apps. Going with half a ball of curl to the right and three rings of overpower. Just to make sure I get some distance here because this is a very long par four. In fact, it's actually longer than some of the par fives on the course. And here you can see we do roll down the slope 361 yards. And the reason we need to push the drive is because we are going to be near max distance, even with the Pro Wood Club, with the 176 yards of power. So here we just have to read as best we can with the ball guide that we have available. Again, three bars side spin to the left because there is a slope here. Uh, that we are landing on and I'm going to go with a couple of bars of top spin when we have level crosswind. Now you can see adjusting just over three rings for this one again estimating here a little bit of curl to the left because I couldn't aim at the pin with the bounce from the slope so have that in mind but not too bad here considering we have hardly any ball guide it didn't really need the curl or maybe could have adjusted a bit more but easy tap in for a birdie there um, but going to be very difficult to get an eagle on this hole because obviously it is a lengthy par four and with the ball guide we have available pretty much on all clubs can be very very difficult to read the path of the ball especially playing with distance there with the wood club good luck in your games and thank you for watching bye for now